Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture we will talk about constants in Java. Here is our outline. We will talk about constants. We will see how we can initialize a constant. And finally, we will see the benefits of using a constant. So let's get started. First of all, what is a constant? It is a variable whose value cannot be changed. So as we saw previously, we can change the value of a variable by simply assigning it to a new value, right? So what if you want a variable with a constant value? so that the value cannot be changed. Then you will use a constant. So first of all, to define a constant, we use the final keyword, as you will see in a little bit. Also, a constant can be used like any other variable. Now, in order to name constants, we write them in uppercase. And also, we use the snake case convention. So the name of the constant will be all in uppercase, and between each word, we will put an underscore, all right? Of course, this is optional, but this is how constants are named in Java. And finally, you will get a syntax error if you try to change the value of a constant, all right? So let's see how we can create a constant. So as we said, we use the final keyword, and then we initialize a variable normally. So let's see this example. We are saying final string company name is equal to this string, Nezo Academy. And after that, we are printing company name just like any other variable. So company name in this case is a constant because we are using the final keyword. And after the final keyword, we are initializing it just like any other variable, right? Now let's see some benefits of using constants. So first of all, the value of the constant will not be changed by accident. Because as we said, you will get a syntax error whenever you try to change the value of the constant. Also, you don't have to type the same value if it is used multiple times. So suppose that you are printing a string 10 times in your program. So instead of typing the string 10 times, you can store the value inside a constant and then you can use the constant 10 times. So by doing this, you will make sure that the value of the string will not be changed by accident. And also, if you want to change the string, all you have to do is to change the value of the constant. And now you might ask, why don't I use a variable? Why should I use a constant? Of course, you can use a variable. The only difference is that the value of the constant can be changed, all right? Finally, a descriptive name for the constant will make the program easy to read and understand. So now let's go to our IDE and see all of this in action. So over here, I'm still in the same project and I'm going to create a new one. So let's go to file, new, project. And over here, we have the same window as before. So I'm going to press next, create project from template, next. And over here, let's give a name for our project. So for example, Nazo Academy, all right? And over here, let's change the package name. And of course, this is optional, all right? So now I'm going to press finish. It's asking me if I want to open this project in a new window or in the current window. So I want to open it in this window, all right? And here is our new project ready. Now let's create a constant. So I'm going to remove this comment. And over here, I'm going to create a constant string. So first of all, we will use the final keyword, and after that, we will initialize a variable. And in this case, it will be a string. So string, let's say company underscore name is equal to the string Nezo Academy, all right? Like this. And now let's print this constant. So as out company name, like this, all right? And now I'm going to press Shift and F10 to run the program. So as you can see, this is our output. Now let's try to change the value of this constant. So I will say company name is equal to, for example, another name, right? And as you can see, we have an error. This error says cannot assign a value to final variable company name. So company name is a constant and we can't assign a new value to it, right? Now let me remove this assignment from over here. So in this statement, we are just declaring the constant and over here we are assigning a value to it. And this will not give us an error because this is the first time that we are assigning a value to our constant, all right? Now after this statement, let me try to assign a new value. So let's say company name is equal to another name for example, all right? So now we have an error. The variable company name might already have been assigned to. So because we already put a value inside our constant, we can't do it again, okay? Perfect. Now have a look at this code over here. I'm printing this string and as you can see, I typed Nizu wrong. I put an I and this should be an E, right? So to fix this, I have to fix it over here and also in all these statements. But let's suppose that I'm using this constant. So I'm going to print it over here and I will remove all these statements. Now let me duplicate the statement like this. And now in order to fix the mistake, all I have to do is to fix it over here, right? 
So now it is fixed in all the places that I'm using my constant. And of course, we can use a variable to do this also. But by using a constant, we are sure that the value will not be changed by accident. So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.